Osteoporosis is a condition where your bones lose strength, making you more likely to break a bone. But there are medicines that can reduce your chance of breaking a bone. So how does your doctor decide if you have a high chance of breaking a bone and would benefit from an osteoporosis medicine? There are several things that influence your chance of breaking a bone. These are known as risk factors. Doctors bring these risk factors together using something called a Fracture Risk Assessment, or FRAX. This assessment is proven by research to assess your chance of breaking a bone and help doctors recommend medicines. The result of your Fracture Risk Assessment is given a percentage which shows your chance of breaking a bone in the next 10 years. If your Fracture Risk Assessment score is high, you may be recommended an osteoporosis medicine to help strengthen your bones. In some cases, you may be advised to make lifestyle changes first and then be invited back for another assessment in the future. Let's have a closer look at the things that help doctors decide if you need a medicine, starting with bone density. Bone density is how solid the inside of your bones are. You can measure bone density with a bone density scan, often called a DEXA scan. The result of your DEXA scan is known as your bone density or T-score. A score between plus 1 and minus 1 means your bone density is in the normal range for a young, healthy person when bone density is at its highest. A score between minus 1 and minus 2.5 means your bone density is slightly below the normal range for a young and healthy person. This is known as osteopenia. A T-score below minus 2.5 means your bone density is much lower than the normal range for a young healthy adult. This is known as the osteoporosis range. It's common for people to focus on their T-scores, whether they are low or high, but it's important to remember that your bone density is only part of your chance of breaking a bone. Another risk factor is your genetics, which can influence the strength of your bones. Research has shown that if one of your parents broke their hip, you are more likely to break a bone yourself. Additionally, if you have already broken a bone, this is a good indication that you are more likely to break a bone again in the future. Age also has a big effect on your chance of breaking a bone. From your late 30s, your bone strength starts to decrease, but this happens at different rates in different people. Osteoporosis and broken bones are also more common in women than men. Women's bones lose strength at a faster rate after the menopause. Some lifestyle factors can also increase your chance of breaking a bone. These are smoking, drinking more than the recommended amount, and having a low body weight. Some medical conditions and medicines are known to reduce the strength of bones. Your doctor will consider these when recommending an osteoporosis medicine. Some of these conditions will affect your bone density, but others affect the strength of your bones in a different way. So to recap, there are several factors that can increase your chance of breaking a bone. These are your bone density, your genetics, your lifestyle, and other medical conditions and medicines. Your doctor should consider all these factors as part of your fracture risk assessment, as well as their own judgment, to decide if you would benefit from a medicine. So let's look at an example of when someone would or wouldn't be recommended medicine. Sophie is 70 and has a bone density score of minus 2.6, which puts her in the osteoporosis range. She has never broken a bone and has no other risk factors. Her fracture risk assessment indicates a low chance of her breaking a bone. She is scheduled for a review in a few years and sent home with lifestyle advice. James is 60 and has a bone density score of minus 2. This puts him in the osteopenia range. But he has a family history of broken hips and has been on long-term steroids. His fracture risk assessment indicates a high chance of breaking a bone and that he should be offered an osteoporosis medicine. This example shows the importance of looking at all the factors and how your T-score is just part of the puzzle.
Thinking about your personal chance of breaking a bone can also help you to decide if you want to take an osteoporosis medicine. It's important to weigh up the benefits and risks. This will be different for everyone and the decision is yours to make. If you have questions about your medicine, visit our website. Staying informed and committed to your treatment can help you to keep doing the things you love safely and confidently. Mm -hmm.